All right, uh, so after watching that delicious chopped cheese, the cocktail that I was thinking about, the, the New York cocktail that really screams New York City to me is the Nutcracker. It has a million different varieties and it's sold uh, on the sunny, beautiful days on the beach or in the parks by the most charismatic people you'll ever meet in your life, walking around screaming Nutcracker, Nutcracker, uh, and you'll find a delicious frozen beverage. Yes. The proper pronunciation of it is nutties. That's right. Nutties, get your nutties, get your nutties. Um, so we're gonna start the, the first one with a, two ounces of Oni's New York City rum. Ooh. Now this is some of my favorite rum. Oh, this rum is fire. Uh, so that we have on the um, So this is gonna be our blue one. The Oni's rum is my favorite. It's not even a subway stop up the road from us. Uh, we love our neighbors, and especially when they make rum as good as that. No, that rum is really good, actually. And now we're gonna like throw... like a Bugal and like a um, Ray and Nephew kind of like marriage kind of vibe, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, it has a little bit of like subway drip. This <laughs> cube. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, and then we're gonna go Blue Curacao. When you're trying to make a drink blue, you can't go wrong with Blue Curacao because it is your only option. Nice. <laughs> Chef. How would you make this into an incredible Hulk? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, and then, uh, so with my blue nutcracker, what I like to do is add a little bit of ginger beer, give it a nice bite. Nice. Uh, lessen the sweetness of that blue curse out just a little bit, make it a little more tolerable, give it a squeeze of some lime. That's about a half Ooh. ounce of lime on there. I like that. That's a nice color uh, blue, too. Absolutely electric. What makes the blue uh, car carousel blue, though? I, I have no idea. <laughs> it's just blue. <laughs> it is the only blue liquor, uh, and it's very well known for that. For it a reminds good me of like um, the blue Gatorade, you know? Absolutely. And blue is one of the classic flavors of Nutcracker that you're likely to find on any, yes. uh, on any beach or prospect park on a sunny day. This is true. It's usually like the blueberry blast, you know, Kool-Aid packet that they throw in there, you know what I mean? You're doing it very fancy with the carousel and like all the fancy Yeah, rooms. I'm trying to, I'm making like a New York City version of it. I'm, I'm using some New York City rum, some, some different elements. Uh, for my red one, I have this delicious American Fruits uh, Sour Cherry Cordial, uh, which is really, really delicious. Everyone in house loves this stuff. Um, it's made with uh, all these cherries from New York as well. Nice. Gonna use a little bit of Tito's to get a start thing, for a base. Yes, please. Okay, cool. I was Chef, like, drink up. Nice. Don't wait for me. I'm gonna make a red one and drink that one. You don't have to tell me twice, bro. Gonna use a nice ounce of the sour cherry for color and this is taste. Good. This is good. Right, Chef? Yeah. Not bad. It's like it needs a little bit of ratchetness to it, though, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, like a little, like... A little more booze. Probably like some, like, Everclear, you know? Everclear, yeah, that's the real shit. Cause like, technically, okay. like, a Nutcracker is like the hood version of like, uh, Jungle Juice. You know, you pretty much just like, throw everything that you could possibly find into like, a container, mix it together. You definitely have to have the overproof rum, usually Patron, or like, some kind of, um, you know, like, Douce or Hennessy. You know what I mean? Absolutely, that's like the classic. Yeah. If you're not gonna have like a terrible hangover after drinking a Nutcracker, it's, it's not just real. Not a nutcracker. It's not real. <laughs> no. Because it's supposed to be like that's the whole point of it. It's because it cracks your nut. That's the that's the first explanation I've ever gotten. Like buying Nutcrackers <laughs> uptown, like 168 in Broadway. It's like, yo, you want a Nutcracker? I was like, what is this, bro? Because like that's I've never heard of it. It was an uptown thing at first. So I went to a party uptown, and then it's like Nutcrackers, Nutcrackers. I was like, yo, what is this? <laughs> It's like, it was a nutcracker. I was like, bro, why are you calling it a nutcracker? He's like, it's gonna crack your nut. I was just like, all right, cool. So the disclaimer was just like, yo, don't drink more than one of these. And like, it was true. Like I drank a half of it and I was like completely like trashed. Like I'm surprised that I made it home from that party because I was living in Brooklyn at the time too, so. Traditionally, you're drinking a, a nutcracker in like those 12 ounce sealed bottles that yeah. they get and then they freeze them. Uh, overnight, and then you you let them defrost as you just walk around with it. Exactly. So you get the majority of the alcohol first. You know what I'm saying? So that's really what's, what's getting your nut yeah. cracked. <laughs> <laughs> it's the alcohol is coming up first because you know like the alcohol is the first thing to, to to defrost. So you're getting drunk, and then like you're just kind of just like getting flavored, like just Kool Aid. You know, Kool Aid slushy. 
otherwise. So my guy right here, Ooh. I just added, I just topped it off with a bit of champagne. That's two ounces of vodka, an ounce of sh sour cherry cordial. Uh, and then I top it off with some champagne. It's a bit of a classier version, but just as boozy. Uh, and it's an, of course, uh, my homage to the nutcrackers that made every day at my at the beach uh, a saucy one. Yes. Cheers, chef. Saucy. Cheers to being saucy, guys. You gotta try the chop, though. You gotta. That's pretty good. Oh man. You, you gotta see how it pairs. That's better. Now that now that I've had some of this cock, now that you've had some of my cocktail, I gotta eat some of your sandwich. Yeah, of course. You this can't have a chopped cheese without a nutty. Has absolutely been teasing me since I walked on. Ooh. Oh, that crunch. That just sounds crazy. Hmm. <laughs> Chef, maybe you're gonna have to close this out. Yo, nutties. You know what I'm saying? I might start selling nutties on the beach. Just make sure you check for my socks and my flip flops, you heard? Matt is over here going in, bro. That's all you're hearing on the, on the microphone, is just like crunching, bro. Oh, man, oh shit. <laughs> this is good. That's so good. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Damn. Oh. Nice. Whew. Well, that's quite the sandwich. It's good, right? That's an amazing sandwich. Oh my god. Is that your first one? Uh, that's my first one. Yeah. Oh. That was incredible. Now you oh can never god. go back. You can't. You not, now you just can't leave. I'm. I'm having a hard time thinking right now. I just want to keep eating that sandwich. Just eat the sandwich, bro. I will. Okay. Don't be shy. Yeah. So this is our love letter to New York. The the cocktail was invented in New York. The nutcracker was invented in New York. The chopped cheese was invented in New York. Yes. We got Oni's New York rum. We got some delicious sour cherry cordial from New York. Um, it's, it's a perfect way to say we love the city and enjoy some amazing food and drink.